Welcome back to my channel. I am filming today a favorites video. It's not gonna be a March favorites because it's been a really long time since I've filmed. So it's gonna be in like what, four or five months now? So like a four or five month favorite. Um, I pretty much haven't filmed since about a month before the wedding and I don't even think I got a chance to post it. So it's just an accumulate, uh, accumulation, really? Accumulation of all the products that I've been really loving. I can't talk about all the ones that I've been liking because since it is about four or five months, it's a lot. Um, but I will tell you guys my super, super top favorites. Right now we are in our second bedroom here. Not we. I am in our second bedroom. Um, this is my vanity that Riley actually built for me. So for right now it's gonna be my background. I actually really like it being my background. So it's probably gonna be my background for the majority of the videos. I got a new camera. I now have the Sony A5100, which has made an enormous difference in my pictures and hopefully my video too. Uh, for lighting, I am still working with two lamps uh, with LED light bulbs, which they do give good lighting. But as you can tell, I have a lot of shadow behind me and I do really wanna try to correct that, basically. Um, so bear with me for the next few videos dealing with the shadow, but hopefully everything works so good Ugh, works out okay. Um, all right, so I have a lot, so let me just jump right in. By the way, this is my second time filming this video today, which is why I'm a little all over the place uh, because I recorded it the first time, uploaded it to my computer. It doesn't come up as a normal movie file, it comes up as something totally different, and I deleted them on accident. So, round two. My first favorite is going to be, it's not a makeup product, it's actually, I don't know what this is, it's not skincare, it's like just upkeep, upkeep product. It is the NADS Facial Wand Eyebrow Shaper. I got this one at Ulta. It is, I want to say it was like six or seven dollars. And basically what it is, is wax. It's um, an at home waxing kit, which I don't usually like, and I've tried them before and don't usually like them. But this one I love, I've used it a few times, and I really loved how it leaves my brows. Um, I try not to go waxing because uh, many years ago when I went and got my eyebrows waxed, totally jacked them up. Like I have a hole now in one of my eyebrows that I always have to fill in and it's really annoying. So I was really terrified. I did find a, find a lady in Winter Park here in Florida who's amazing and she does a phenomenal job. She makes her own wax. Like that's how on point she is. But it's almost 20 bucks to do your brows. It pretty much is because after tip and everything. Um, so it was just too expensive. I needed something a lot cheaper. So I got this. And what it is is basically this little stick with the wax in it, these little wax strips and these cleansing pads. And you don't have to heat it up, nothing. It's just right out of the little bottle. Um, you just apply it, apply the wax strip and then rip it off. And it's actually one of the least painful waxes I've ever used. I don't know if it's because it's not heated up, it's room temp or what, but really love this. If you're an at-home brow girl like me, I was tweezing away, then you'll love this for a change. Okay, next is gonna be this product that has been all over YouTube and Instagram and everything, and I have to say, I'm so happy I jumped on this bandwagon. It is the Nivea Sensitive Post Shave Balm. You use this as a primer. Now, it totally smells like aftershave, because it's basically what it is, but I don't know what's in it or what it is about it, but it really does make my makeup stay the entire day. Like, I am so impressed with this. I haven't been really impressed with a lot of primers lately, and this one actually reminds me a lot of the NYX HD primer. The only reason I don't like that one is because um, after I put it on my face, it leaves kind of like a very light white mask kind of thing. And I don't like that because I feel like it affects how my makeup looks sometimes. Or at least I fear it does. So this one dries totally clear. It dries to like a sticky 
texture kind of thing um and i love it it works really good it's like five or six bucks and you only use like a quarter size it's amazing uh the next products i want to talk about is the loom the l'oreal true match lumi cushion and i got it in shade w 5.5 Basically what these cushion foundations are about is, is it's liquid foundation in a compact. It comes basically, it's a compact, but when you open it up, it's a sponge inside soaked with liquid foundation. And how I apply it is I just open it and dip my beauty blender right into it. You can use a brush, you can use whatever you want, you could even use the little sponge that comes with it. I just prefer my beauty blender. I have to say that whenever I have been doing just like daily makeup, I've been using this a lot. It's about a moderate coverage. I was nervous about the Lumi because I have oily skin, but it didn't make me greasy. It really just looked luminous. It just looked like I had really healthy skin. So I have to say I really like this. I know there's a few other companies out there that have them now, um, like MAC has their Matchmaster one. I think um, Physicians Formula, I believe it was, came out with one of them too that I'll probably look out to try. But so far I've only tried this one, but I have to say that I really love it. Okay, the next thing uh, for my favorites are correctors. I saw Carly Bibles, I don't know if you guys know her, but you should. She's another huge guru out there. And she did a video on color correcting. Now, I had used it every once in a while, like the orange one, but like the only ones I really knew were like green was to cancel out redness and peach for like dark circles. I didn't really know how to use the other ones because I haven't found a need for them. Even when I'm working on other clients, I just, I pick up that green like is no joke, but I just haven't used the other colors all that much, but I wanted to know what they were about. So I saw her video and she was talking about the purple shade. And for a while, around my forehead has basically, my makeup for some reason gets dark there very easily and I wanted something to brighten. So she suggested the purple. So what I do now is I put the purple shade in like a diamond and on my cheekbones and it's really been helping brighten up. And what I use is the Full, the NYX Full Coverage Concealer in Lavender. And as you can tell, it's just a lavender shade. I just, I mean, there's no other way to describe it. It's lavender. And then for my orange ones, because I do use them um, more now, I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Orange Corrector and the NYX Dark Circle Concealer Corrector in Medium. The only tip I will give about this lavender one is it's very, it's a very retarded way to word it. I do not suggest using it with a sheer foundation. I tried the other day and it leaves it very gray, which obviously does not look good. So I do suggest using it with a medium to full coverage foundation. But if you're worried about your skin looking very dull, um, you could try either the lavender or the bright yellow. I didn't use the yellow because my skin, if I use yellow, it will make me look orange. I'm already too warm. So I needed something with a little bit more of a cool tone to even me out. But at the same time, you have to play with it yourself because you don't want it to make you look gray, like I was saying earlier. But so far, I've been using it. I used it today and I really, really like it. Okay, my next product, I'm not sure if I mentioned these before. I think I might have filmed it and I just never got around to posting it before the wedding. But these are the e.l.f. blush palettes and I have it in light and dark. It's the only two ones they come in. I got mine at Target. They're $5 each and they look like this. This is the light and this is the dark. My favorite shade from both palettes is this one right here. It's like this perfect nude shade, but when you put it on, it doesn't look like a bronzer. It still looks like a blush. And I'm wearing this like baby pink one today. And what I really like about it is that um, with my complexion, it's sometimes hard to find a baby pink color that I don't put it on and it looks very icy pink. 
What I like is that this one looks very almost warm when I put it on. So I really love that. They are crazy pigmented for the price they are. Like I have to be careful. Like that was just like a little, a little gentle massage. And look at that. Just one, one little swoop and it's all that crazy color payoff. So I definitely, ugh, definitely recommend these. I think that everybody should own these. I mean, you don't have to get both if you don't want to, but at least get one of them. They are amazing blushes and the price is right. Okay, my next product is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Golden Light. Now this bronzer, I mean, you're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like, that's the color of your skin. I don't see how that's gonna make it any darker. And you know what, I thought the same thing. It works. I used it today and as you can tell, your girl is bronzed. So this color is just my favorite. I don't talk about it that much and I try not to use it that much because it is Bobbi Brown so it is very expensive. But it's amazing. It's incredibly blendable. The color is perfect. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. It's, it's just amazing. It's my favorite one. I love it too because since it is a little light, I can't go overboard with it. And it's crazy because I don't even have to build it that much to get like this color. This was just one like dip and one brush. And I mean, it still gave me a crazy amount of color. So I absolutely love this bronzer. I'm so sad though because I broke, what, the clasp? So, the next thing I wanted to talk about, I, this company's makeup is so affordable. It's Makeup Revolution. And this was a highlighter for $5. Now, I was not expecting to be impressed by this little guy, but mind blown. I cannot admit how much, like, I was so surprised by how amazing this is. This is their Vivid Baked Highlighter in Golden Lights, and it's the highlight that I'm using today. As you can tell, it's not extremely gold, it's more of like a champagne gold. And like that was again, just a little gentle swatch. And look how much pigmentation is in this. It is just a gorgeous shade. It really is just like a very champagne color, and I just, I'm so blown away by how soft and how pigmented this is because I've bought highlighters before. Even the Laura Geller Gilded Honey. Is it Gilded Honey? Something like that. Beautiful. One of my top favorite highlighters. But when I first bought it, I went like this with my brush and almost nothing came off. And I know that's a very small matter because it still gives a flawless highlight. But that's just something that I'm like, you're very expensive to not be giving me a lot of color and this one like you just touch it and you just get so much color and I that's something that I like hugely appreciate so I love this highlight it's amazing for a bunch of different skin tones I really think that anybody that tried it would absolutely the next one I want to talk about is the NYX intense butter gloss I was very skeptical about trying this product because I don't like very pigmented glosses. I prefer very sheer glosses. Like their butter glosses are my favorite glosses ever. But I don't know, these were getting so much rave and I was like, I'm just gonna try one. The color right here is called Tres Leches. And I actually bought this color because I saw a post on Instagram for this color. Now. Because of my uh, skin tone, it is very hard to find a proper nude that isn't too light for me. The problem is very hard for me to find a good nude gloss because every time that I would buy one, I was like, this color is perfect, it's gonna look beautiful, it swatches beautifully. I would put it on and it would be too light. It would. Okay, so my camera overheated a little and shut itself off. So I don't know where I left off. I was, I'm pretty sure I was a little all over the place explaining the difficulty of finding a nude and how much I love this color. 
But basically, if you are a little bit closer to my skin tone or a little bit darker or even a little bit lighter, whatever skin tone, honestly, this color would look fabulous on so many different complexions. I honestly cannot thank NYX enough for creating a color this beautiful. I love it. I love how it wears and that's it. I just love it. Okay, I only have two left and I'm gonna try to get through it quick because my camera's still dying and I don't want it to overheat. I'm so mad for my first video. This is like so all over the place. My next one is also from Makeup Revolution. It is their Neutrals versus Neutrals and they spell that N-E-W-T-R-A-L-S versus Neutrals. and. That's exactly what it is. It's this palette right here. On the top, as you can tell, they have all the warmer neutrals and on the bottom, they have all the cooler ones. I love this palette. I love how crazy pigmented it is for, again, this was a $10 palette. Um, I just love it. My only thing about it is that, I don't know if it's just mine, but this shade right here, Every picture that I saw on Instagram, this was supposed to be a matte dark red, and mine is a very shimmery dark red. So I did write them and ask them, like why, like if they have two different versions of the palette or if it just looks matte in the picture, but they're actually shimmery. I haven't got an answer, which is kind of annoying, but even with the shimmery color, I do still really, really love this palette. Okay, my last product is a product that, again, lots of people have been talking about, and it is the RCMA No Color Powder. I actually got this powder back in November, and I got it before a lot of people were even talking about it or knew about it, uh, because my really good friend Sheila, who's also a makeup artist, uh, we were on a job together, and we were kind of exploring our kids, seeing what we had, and she told me about this powder and she was like you gotta try it it's amazing it's super affordable you're gonna love it so i got it and she was right this was actually the powder that i used on my wedding day and i have to say that i did my makeup at 10. we left for miami right after the wedding because we were going on a cruise from miami um and we just wanted to make sure we made it on time so we got to miami at four o'clock in the morning and I still had my makeup on and I was still looking flawless. This powder is a trooper. It's super lightweight. It's not, it's a very, very fine powder, which is amazing because it doesn't stay in all the little crinkles that I might have or anyone might have. And again, it's very affordable. So I definitely recommend this one. <laughs> okay guys, I'm gonna make this very short because I have 6% battery, but I really love that I'm back on YouTube and that I get to talk to you guys again and share things that I love with you guys again. I have so many video ideas in store. Please let me know if you want to see anything. Let me know what you think about the background, everything. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I missed you guys a lot. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. losing my breath. I don't know why. This is tough.